Hi, this is Galit Goldfarb and thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about why detoxifying your environment is important for health and weight loss. Okay, so toxins are substances that damage our DNA and toxins are all around us. They are found in products which we use, in the foods we eat, and the water which we drink. And they are also common in our environment and toxins have an immense effect on our health and on our weight because the environment of our cells actually creates the de our health destiny. So in this video, I'll discuss the toxins found in our environment and how they negatively affect our health and what we can do to avoid them. So the first toxin I wanna to talk about is lead. Lead used to be very common in our environment. It was found in many, many things, including our pipes, paints, gas, uh, petrol, and emissions from factories until it was understood how toxic lead really is. Unfortunately, lead still exists in dangerous amounts in many different areas, especially in older and more impoverished communities. Lead affects the body slowly and unnoticeably, so if you occupy a building or a home that is old, it can contain potentially dangerous amounts of lead. It is especially important for expectant mother mothers to be aware as lead will affect the child's mental development. Symptoms of lead poisoning are not noticed before the damage is done, so it is vital to check your home for lead, especially if it was built before 1978. Now, research also shows a connection between lead exposure and weight gain, especially obesity and fat accumulation in the liver. Now, there are many toxins today that I am sure will in the future prove to be dangerous as lead for our health. And this is why striving for a more natural lifestyle is always best in the best route to follow to reduce your toxic load. Now, the next toxin I want to mention is air pollution. You probably know that air pollution is hazardous to health, but it's much more hazardous than most people think, especially when we're breathing polluted air very often. Heavy air pollution can even cause a heart attack and stroke in some people, especially those that are at higher risk for these diseases. The toxic particles in polluted air irritate the lung tissue, which causes inflammation that eventually may lead to uh, heart disorders. Also, oxidative stress is a very widespread cause of heart disease and occurs whenever the amount of free radicals exceeds the antioxidant capacity of the body, which is often what happens with high levels of air pollution. And air pollution also harms the kidneys and children attending schools that are close to high traffic roads also show slow, lower uh, cognition function due to air pollution in a research study. So you should aim to limit your exposure to polluted air as much as you can and if you live in a location with high levels of air pollution, you will want to limit any outdoor physical activity because aerobic exercise will induce inhalation of high levels of pollutants when performed in polluted areas. The next toxin I want to mention is secondhand smoking. Long-term exposure to tobacco smoke can also cause heart problems, respiratory infections, and weight gain, and also lung cancer. And this makes avoiding secondhand smoking vital for maintaining health. Moreover, research studies demonstrate that secondhand smoking is also associated with later obesity. You definitely want to make sure you don't allow smokers who live with you to smoke indoors, especially if you have small children in the house. Now let's mention toxic exposure at work. Depending on your job, there may be many harmful substances in your environment that cause many health that can cause many health problems. And it is, this is especially true for jobs like construction workers, hairdressers, and those working in beauty salons, and even pe people that are working many hours in offices in closed environments. So if you work with or around hazardous substances like chemicals based hair products or beauty products or toxic building uh, uh, materials, then you want to make sure that every proper safety measure is carried out by your employer because the toxic environment can cause both short-term and long-term health issues depending on the substances that you are exposed to. And for people based in office environments for long hours, volatile organic compounds, also known as VOCs, are 
everywhere inside these indoor environments. And these compounds originate from building materials, from cleaning materials, interior furnishings, printing and even pesticide use and breathing low levels of these volatile organic compounds for extended periods increases the risk of asthma, nausea and headaches as well. And uh, while longer term exposure, more uh, exposure will result even in cancer, definitely in kidney damage, and liver failure and, and uh, failure of the central nervous system. So another common indoor toxic compound is the gas formaldehyde, which inhalation of this compound um, can cause nasal and lung cancer. It's very toxic. Formaldehyde comes from pressed wood products, including particle board, uh, hard wood, uh, ply, plywood uh, paneling, and medium density boards. And apart from these sources, you will also find from formaldehyde from water repellent sofas and carpets, from different cosmetics, deodorants, and fabric dyes. Now, formaldehyde is released easily at high humidity and warm temperatures, so you really wanna make sure that there is sufficient ventilation in your home and work area to avoid the unhealthy effects of these toxins. The next toxin I will talk about are cleaning materials. They are full of many chemicals that may cause immediate hazards, such as watery eyes, um, uh, skin or respiratory irritation, and, and different burns on the skin, while other uh, cleaning materials are linked with longer term chronic effects, uh, including the risk for hormone disruption, as well as different cancers. Now, the most acutely dangerous cleaning materials are drain cleaners, oven cleaners, and toilet bowl cleaners, which I definitely recommend buying from natural companies such as Ecover or Ecofriend or different companies around the world. The diethanolamine, DEA, and triethanolamine are found in cleaning products and react uh, uh, to form nitrosamines, which are cancer-causing agents, and they penetrate the skin very readily. Now, APEs, or um, alkyl uh, phenol uh, ethoxylates, are used in some detergents and cleaners, and are, these are hormone-disrupting chemicals that interfere with the body's natural hormones. Either they block uh, or mimic the actions of these hormones, and they can cause infertility, especially in men. Uh, they lead to increased birth defects and increase the risk for cancers. These chemicals also lead to early or delayed puberty and preterm birth, as well as asthma and weight gain and obesity. So I definitely recommend checking your local health food store for natural cleaning or hygiene alternatives. Just remember that even if products are sold in the health food store, it doesn't mean that they are necessarily healthy and you should still look at the product labels or ask for help from the uh, shop assistant for the most natural products. These are what you want to be cleaning your house with and using as uh, <clears throat> washing up materials and for your laundry products. Now the last toxin I will mention are medications. In most cases, it has been found that the placebo effect is equally effective as most medications, especially I'm talking for chronic disorders. And um, for many medicines, the placebo effect is even more than the proven benefit of the drug itself. Now, many medications also have many side effects. Uh, some are even worse than the uh, condition that these medications are taken from. And for some, the medicines can become very, very toxic, especially they build up in different tissues and organs in the body over time. Now, the startling statistic is that about 300,000 people die each year in the US from the use of medications. So unless there is any emergency need for the medication, try to avoid its use whenever possible. Search for uh, natural alternatives. Now, my website is loaded with content for practically every disorder and has a many, many healthy alternative DIY solutions to help you solve your health problems. So check it out at www.thegorilladiet.com for all your health and nutritional needs. And if you find that any content is missing, please let me know and I will create the content at your request. So to conclude, decreasing your exposure to toxins in your environment is vital for maintaining good health and your ideal weight. And it is important that you make sure 
your environment is clean just as you would make sure your food and water are toxin free. Now aim to empower yourself to keep your body and environment healthy as this will help you make better choices for your well-being throughout your life, keeping you healthy and providing you with wonderful longevity. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I hope you did. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and press the notifications button to get notifications whenever I upload a video. Thank you very much for joining me and have a wonderful day.